Hello everyone, good to be back with you. Uh, right now we have with us Shweta Verma as part of the Voice of the Young segment. Let's listen to her. Over to you, Shweta. Okay, my name is Shweta. I was born and brought up in Faridabad, Haryana. Currently, I am in uh, I'm pursuing master's in economics from Delhi Technological University. Uh, I have great interest in economics as well as international relations. And so basically my journey starts from when I when I am confused what to choose in my 10th standard, uh, like basically for 11th standard, uh, whether to choose uh, science, commerce, or humanities. Uh, my parents were uh, planning to like, I want uh, to, uh, wanted me to uh, choose humanities and become an IES officer. So um, along with that, so I chose at the end humanities. Okay. And I choose economics as an optional uh, subject. And uh, then the major struggles come when I have to choose the uh, course in my bachelor's. Um, it was quite difficult to choose between political science and economics. But I chose economics as my uh, honor subject, and I chose minor um, geography as my minor, minor subject. And then I was like, uh, it was quite a good journey for in my bachelor's, bachelor's of economics honors. Uh, I pursued my bachelor's from Dayal Singh College, University of Delhi. Yeah. And now I'm. And now I am pursuing my uh, master's from Delhi Technological University, uh, which is also in Delhi. Uh, and now I am quite interested in doing some research, as in research intern in think tanks. Yeah. And uh, could you just pause? Uh, Okay, I had to pause it for a second, but we are back. And uh, Shweta is going to tell us about uh, her college life in Dayal Singh College. What was it like? North Campus, South Campus. What was it like for you? I took admission in COVID batch. Like I was a, I was in a COVID batch, two thousand twenty. So it was three semesters online, three semesters offline. So when uh, when my uh, my college opened in fourth semester, it was a drastic change for me. Like I had to I have had to study econometrics, which was quite difficult for me as it was both it was majorly uh, I have studied in online classes, so it was a bit difficult for me. But I, uh, it took time, but I passed the papers that. Especially that paper. Yeah, and because you took geography. You didn't take mathematics. Yes, <laughs> so yes. It was um, going to be a bit I was, I was quite interested in geography also. So yeah. it was a holistic uh, holistic uh, subject for me. Yeah. Uh, there were many things which I have done in my undergraduate college. Like uh, I, I was the uh, with my geography uh, geography professor i had a uh, i had a core uh, uh, i had a uh, ge paper in my fourth semester sustainable development so uh, with uh, with along with my professor we took a initiative to form a sustainability forum for the college and we uh, we took the uh, we prepared the pre-monsoon tree census as well as post-monsoon tree census with the primary data as well as the secondary data we have we have taken from uh, college fa faculty as well as the uh, uh, workers which were working in the college. It was uh, it was a very uh, interesting we can I can say interesting experience for me to uh, understand the uh, environment of my college like. How uh, and like how many varieties of plants, trees we have in our college, and it surprises me like the, that 
that we have uh, like vast variety of trees and and it was quite i'm quite disappointed that there are many trees which are in very uh uh poor situation i can okay. say yeah yeah nobody is looking after and, you. yeah yeah uh, uh, but after but after some time uh, when i have taken like uh, in pre monsoon tree census um uh, i was guided by my professor like uh, uh, the report we have uh, we have made it was along with my professor but in uh, in post tree census post monsoon tree census um uh, it was uh, majority my contribution in that and i was quite proud for that that i have taken all the work and done it on the time yeah yes. wonderful okay so yeah. what did you find in the post monsoon census in post monsoon tree census i i was uh, it was good that uh, we have taken some uh, uh, we have taken some actions regarding the uh, from the like from the output we have got from pre monsoon tree census and we initiated them executed them and it was like uh, most of the trees most of the tree situation quite uh, improved okay. i can say yeah yeah um, along with that i was the part of the cognizance that was my uh, editorial board of the department of economics and i was managing editor there uh we organized uh, writing competitions as well as uh, writing uh, like we took uh, every member has to submit their articles every month and it was become the habit of the members to submit their articles on time and we uh, we published on like monthly basis on wordpress yeah we have a we have a page on wordpress with the name of cognizance yeah and i didn't uh, uh, participate in much societies but uh, one uh, one of the society I, i also joined in my third year that was academic research paper club in which we uh, we took the initiative to uh, uh, to uh, like be peers uh, uh, took the initiative to like just start the instagram as well as linkedin page where we will post the how we can start the research paper work with like from basics with like what is uh, what is how to make up stack then how to do research use econometrics um, uh, methods to uh, to like do research and create a perfect research paper i know it's not it never <laughs> i know it is not like research paper is not perfect there is there is always a possibility to for the changes but we tried our best to uh, like uh, to assist our juniors uh, with the help of with help of our seniors which are like which are in different universities um, now okay. all right wonderful all right so uh, college uh, the offline college was fun right yeah okay. uh, like uh, like when uh, when i know when i got to know that i have just three semesters i tried to do most like i tried to do most of the things which i which i was not able to do in off, like online part okay so all right wonderful all right so then <clears throat> you have to decide whether to go for a masters or to get a job or which masters so how did you decide uh i was confused whether to go for the civil services examination prep or to pursue a, another degree masters degree so i was con like it was uh, confirmed that if i have to pursue my masters degree it will be only in economics i don't want to change my career like that because uh, i have uh, got a, uh, i have given a lot of thoughts when i chose economics as my in my bachelors so i don't think uh, there is any other subject which i want to study more other than economics all right uh, yes so, so good. yeah and i have to do my masters in from delhi only yeah so i have chosen delhi, delhi technological university because it, it has a very uh, diverse structure like we got to know about 
uh, econometrics methods like uh, uh, languages like R, SQL, Python, uh, and other also like we I will study in other other uh, another semesters and as well as theory language. So yeah. I was quite uh, interested. Like uh, yeah, I will choose Delhi Ten Technological University. And is it hard to get in? Do you have to have very good marks? How? Yeah, it? I have given my CUET. Yeah. And yes. And so okay, good. And how did you find the place? When you went to DTU, how was it? Uh, uh, there are two campus. Uh, there are two campus of Delhi Technological University. One, one is main campus, which is in Samaipur Badli. Like uh, they have mainly engineering courses, and okay. there is one other also in Karkar Duma, uh, which has management courses like uh, BA, BA Economics Honors, MA Economics, uh, and uh, MBA and BBA. Okay. So there is uh, that is not like we we do not have that much students, but yeah, that is like uh, faculty is quite quite good, and students are also like they have come from uh, uh, different courses as well as colleges. Like most of the students have uh, pursued BA Economics honors, but there are many other students who have uh, changed their course from like. Uh, B.Sc. Mathematics and and well, even from history honors, I have one friend which is now uh, studying in M. Economics. Well, so that must be I tough. To no? Yeah, I got to know about like there are many students who are like like I thought I was the only one who will find it difficult. Like I don't have that that much time to study the online part again. So, but there was a lot of students and it was quite inspiring that they have even taken a hard step to change the career, uh, change this um, from easy to hard. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, uh, what is your uh, plan for the future? Uh, in the future, like recently, uh, first I, I, would want, I would like to share my experience. Uh, like, Recently, I have uh, attended one of the uh, international relations part, uh, workshop in, at OP Jindal University. It was quite uh, is what it was quite related to Israel. Israel, a nation that dwells alone, that was the topic of the workshop, where we have we have uh, uh, like we are we are taught the Israel history with the religion uh, aspects. And we have we got to we we have also studied the foreign policies we have with Israel, so it it quite made me like in, interested related to international relations also. So uh, now I am quite uh, confused what to choose. So in my coming years, I am planning to work as a research intern at think tanks and. Yeah, I will be preparing for the government job also. I will right. not like, yeah, my long term, my long term goal is uh, uh, government job, mainly in foreign uh, affairs. Okay, wonderful. All right. What advice yeah. do you have for young people, especially those who are in 11th and 12th, little bit confused? When you look mm -hmm. back, I mean, your decision was clear. Your parents wanted you to be <laughs> NIS officer. I don't know if you are aiming for that, but can you tell, talk to the young people, please? Uh, students from 11, 12th, I, I just want to tell you that you have to, you have to just study hard in your 12th exam, but it does not matter if you, like, you have to give your best, very best. It doesn't matter how much marks you got. But and you have to choose the what you want to do, not what others want you to do. Right? Because in the next five or six, five, even four or four to five years, you you will when you will regret that I want to do this, I want to do this. There will be no other person who will say like who will be there for you, ki, uh, like uh, why you haven't chosen this when you want to do this. <laughs> like yeah 
Yeah. Like you, you should be responsible for your decisions, not your parents or not your friends. Like uh, there is a trend that uh, most so most like students do in eleven, twelve. That that uh, my friend is choosing this course, then uh, then this stream. I will also choose this stream, no matter if I want to study or not. Uh, yeah. That should not be the case. Like for me, it was like. I am. I was the only one in my friend circle who who have opted for for humanities. <laughs> that my my all friends have chosen uh, science or commerce. So it was like uh, I was for the uh, initial time, like uh, in four six months. I was like, should I change my stream or not? But then I was uh, I was uh, focused that I have to do something in humanities also. If I choose commerce or science, it will just um, I will be confused for years, and then I will choose humanities subject as in my career. It will be just a waste of time. I okay. will like yeah. All right, wonderful. That's good advice. Anything else from your experience? I just uh, there's this one advice like I want to give it to myself also, and as well as to others that that. Uh, there are many people who will just try to uh, try to diminish like you just try to dominate over you uh, i don't know the like if i'm saying right or wrong but if you will under, like you will understand that you have to just focus it is not like you have to just focus like what you want to do and you have to be uh, like uh, you have to you should have clear mind that what you want to do there are many career opportunities it was it is not just like 90s or a uh, decade ago like you have limited opportunities you have very you have lots of opportunities and it is not like you have to choose a for, uh, humanities or science for one thing you can have many uh, you can have many opportunities so uh, if you have you if you have to can one wrong step it doesn't matter that you cannot succeed in that you have you can have many opportunities as you want you just have to be focused and and want to do, and you and you have you must have some motivation that you want to do you want to achieve something in your life All right that's very yeah. good anything else yeah. you want to add here no all right good thank you then we can uh, end the recording here and say bye okay. to everybody. I'll be back okay. with another young person or an expert soon. Bye, everybody.